Hey buddy, no drama in here. In today's episode, I'm going to share tips and tricks on how to deal with other people in the concert music photography business. Stay tuned. Let's face it, the artist, the fans, the venue, and the management all do not want drama at, at their shows. So in today's video, I'm going to share some tips and tricks on how to deal with those situations. As you start working as a concert photographer, you're going to find that you're going to run into other photographers and people that you've never dealt with. Let's face it, people don't know you. or They might not know you. It just depends. But most of the time, you're going to run into people that you've never seen before, never met. Some of them are going to be friendly, and some of them are going to give you a little bit of a hard time. So what brings up this conversation? Well, last year we started shooting some uh, concerts in places that we'd never been before, some new venues. And along with those new venues came uh, meeting new people that we have never met or never seen or dealt with. So we had to, had to do that, which can be a little bit intimidating for some people. But uh, let's face it, people don't know you or they might not know you or they may, but still you're going into somebody's turf that is uh, foreign to you. We had a situation where we had made arrangements with an artist to do do a concert and uh, we showed up early and we're taking care of business and then all of a sudden uh, another photographer showed up that which we didn't know so uh, he plopped himself down right flat, flat in the middle of the the stage right in front of the stage and took about three or four shots he was kind of just there we went about our business and he all of a sudden got upset and started walked over to security and started telling security about us and we're like we looked at each other and went what's wrong with that guy <laughs> I don't know so anyway the best thing to do in that kind of situation is to um, keep cool mind your own business and uh, keep a low profile the other thing that's real good to do is have your paperwork and documentation from the artists and the management in order to, to show the security people that you do have a right to be there and you are supposed to be there uh, it just happens that he started talking to security and complaining and security looked at him and said I'm, we're not going to do anything about it but we were prepared just in case so uh, that's the kind of drama that the artist, the venue, uh, the fans, nobody wants to see or deal with and it just so happens if you keep a low profile and keep it quiet and smooth it's probably about the best way to deal with it. I can't stress having your documentation and your ID and your emails and correspondence with you when you go to a photograph a concert it'll save you a lot of headache uh, security if they would have come up to us we would have been prepared to show them all our documentation and uh, handled it that way but if something does happen and you are asked to leave do so don't make any waves it's all about the fans and the artists and the venues themselves it's, it's the, the photographers are secondary and uh, you should uh, keep very quiet and do as you're told and be prepared the next tip comes from a situation where we were going to go to a new venue. Just so happens this venue is one of the biggest, most high profile venues in the Southwest. It's one of the world's largest honky tonks. Uh, never been there, didn't know anything and how it worked. So we went into the front door and went up to the box office and we told them that we had a, um, a letter from the artist that we were there to shoot uh, photograph the uh, the show and the first thing out of the lady's mouth was yeah right uh -huh. I said no 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 really here, here we go and I handed her a copy of the correspondence letter and she looked at it and she goes oh okay well let me get a hold of my boss her boss came up and said well let me check it out and give me about 15-20 minutes and uh, we'll get you all, all squared away the big tip here is if you get bent out of shape and act like an idiot uh, because you're something like that happens, then you're not going to get anything. 
and uh, it just so happens we we went and had uh, dinner at the barbecue place that's inside the front door and waited on them to do their thing and uh, once they did uh, we came up to the box office again about uh, 20 30 minutes later and and uh, talked to the lady and she says wow you, you are right so she goes here's all your credentials and uh, enjoy the show and um, have a good time and the last tip and trick for this video is kind of along, along the same manner uh, we had to shoot uh, some shows in a, in a place out in east of just northeast of Dallas and uh, never been there before so uh, I'd had correspondence with uh, the main the headliner and uh, we went out to the show and I'm walking around and several there are several photographers roaming around and I'm getting this kind of like creepy evil eye kind of <laughs> kind of vibe out of them and they don't know who I am and uh, I don't know who they are so uh, you know eventually I started talking to some of them and, and introducing myself and that but I went up to the uh, the venue had a tent and I told them I'd like to check in and get uh, squared away and uh, told them I had a letter from the from the headliner and they said yeah right okay whatever I said yeah I do and I handed them handed them the the letter and they said they looked at it and they read it and they said well we don't recognize the name on the letter she goes but but I'll check it out and I'll get back to you in a little bit and I said okay I'll be right over there and uh, so the lady went out and she checked out the uh, the the letter with the, the 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 road manager and it just so happened the road manager knew the guy that was the office manager that had issued the okay for the pass and uh she, so she called me back over and she says um yeah you're good to go uh, it just so happened she told me the whole story and she says uh you've got uh, the pass for the for the headliner but you don't have the uh, past for the for the opening act and I said no I never could get a hold of them and and uh, she goes would you like that and I said yeah I'd love that that'd be fine and she goes well let me check and see if they'll approve you for it and I said okay so uh, about five minutes later she came back and she says oh yeah they'd love to have you take pictures of them too so um, you got to go on all of them so we had pit access for for both acts of the show and that not only happened the first week but we had to shoot another headliner the set the next week in the same location and uh we go and that by that time the people that i dealt with knew who i was and what i was doing and i had my proper id and they asked me the same question they said you got the headliner but you got the uh you don't have the uh, opening act would you like the opening act and i said yeah sure i'd love the opening act and they said okay well give us just a second and uh we'll see what we can do she came back the opening act gave us the approval. We were all good to go. That's the next tip. Have all your ducks in a row, all your correspondence, your emails, and all that information. Keep your cool. Do not lose your mind and go out there and, and, uh, and provide the documentation that's needed, and people will treat you right. If you like this video, go ahead, ring that bell. If you, if you would, please subscribe to the videos. We appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.